Well, it's very difficult to generalize because each market is different. In China, young people may be using their mobiles to make purchases. The market in China, ha having grown very, very fast, is um, shrinking at the moment. So it would be unwise to depend too much on the Chinese market. The UK, which is the market I know best, the proportion of wine sold online from a conventional sales website is definitely increasing. And I get the impression that the power of the supermarkets, which has been too great, is declining because the quality of the wine in the supermarkets has definitely been going down. And while the knowledge of the consumer has been going up, so the supermarkets are less and less satisfactory. And we in Britain have a great increase in the number of small independent wine retailers and importers. So I would recommend any Italian producer to do a bit of research. There are many, many opportunities now. Maybe make a good link. If they're a small producer, make a good personal relationship with a small importer. As for the United States, a um, great place to sell Italian wine. I think there's probably a good healthy growth in independent retailers too. Young French people are getting a bit more interested in wine, which is a good thing. Although whether they're going to buy Italian wine, I don't know. And it's a terrible story in Spain where young people just don't seem to be interested in wine at all. The structure of wine commentary is changing completely. When I started, maybe in the 80s and 90s, you had a handful of big authorities who would hand down their scores and opinions and they were received like an oracle by the public. We now have social media interaction, lots of consumer reviews, something like Cellar Tracker, which is perhaps the trip advisor of, of wine. Even people like me, who is um, communicating my thoughts daily on jancisrobinson.com, much more opportunity for readers to come back say, hey, I don't agree, or I discovered this, this great wine. It's much more two-way communication now, which is a good discipline for people like me. It keeps us uh, on our toes. Well, certainly the, the big old European wine producers have to export because most of their markets, Spain, France, Italy, are still shrinking and they need to find new customers. In general, the New World producers have been very effective at selling. Australia is still the number one a supplier of wine to the UK, for instance, although it's the growth has slowed down dramatically. However, I sense a slight renewal of interest in Europe because the tradition is more valued today than innovation. And of course, Europe has far more tradition than the New World. And people are not just looking for varietally labeled wines. I don't think you have to have a great variety on the wine label anymore for people to be looking for it. Yeah.